everyone, let's take a look at our first multiple choice item. So the, the first problem that we see says find the equation of a line and they gave us our point, but they want it parallel. That's the, the key phrase there, that it's parallel to our given line. And we know that slopes that are parallel have, I should say that lines that are parallel have the same slopes. So what I want to do is I want to figure out the slope of this line and then I'll use that slope and this point to figure out the equation of the line I'm interested in. So let's do this. I'm gonna go ahead and get this line in um, slope intercept form. So I'm gonna add x to both sides and I'm gonna subtract one. And when I do that, it looks like I'll have a three y on this side and I will have x minus one. Great, I'm gonna divide both sides by three. And when I do that, I will get y is equal to one third x minus one third. And that's great, because the key piece of information I want there is that the slope is one third. So the line I'm interested in has a point at negative three, negative four, and it has a slope of one third. Now, just as a, as a counter example, and I, I wanna stress this, this is not what happened in this problem, but let's say this had said, excuse me, if this had not said parallel, if this had said perpendicular, so I can't even spell it, which it doesn't, then the slope wouldn't be negative, excuse me, it wouldn't be one third, it would be the negative reciprocal, so it would have been negative three. Now again, it doesn't say any of that, so I'm gonna erase all of this shenanigans. Just wanted to mention it, but here we go. So for the, the problem that we are interested in, here's my point, here's my slope. Let's go and put that in point slope form and finish this problem out. So I would do y minus negative four, that would equal one third times x minus a negative three. All right, so this is y plus four, that would equal one third times x plus three. If I distribute this, this is one third x plus one. And let me move this over here just to finish this out. So I would have y plus four is equal to one third x plus one. If I subtract four from both sides, I would get y is equal to one third x minus three, and that is option B. And just, I, I guess I, I could have pointed this out sooner. Once we knew that the slope was one third here and that we wanted a parallel line, so it would also have a slope of one third, I could have ruled out a, and I could have ruled out D because the slopes were incorrect there. All right. Thanks so much, everyone. Bye.